Okay, so this video is a little bit shorter. It's just going to be how to stitch the um, panoramic images from Bridge into Photoshop. Uh, I use Bridge all the time. I like it as a kind of a file navigator. Um, and then again, just kind of go through and star images and then again, create panoramics or just open them right into Camera Raw from Bridge. It's one of the reasons why I like to use Bridge. I might make a quick little video just kind of um, outlining just Bridge in general. Um, but again, most part here, I'm in Bridge. I want to open up these four images here into Photoshop, and I want to let Photoshop do the uh, the photo merge. So I want them to create the panoramic for me. Uh, and there is great alignment tools and great blend tools within Photoshop, um, but when you're in Bridge, you can automate that from Bridge uh, right into Photoshop. So again, a great way to do that is to, um, obviously we need to select the images that we want to uh, merge together. So again, this is my drone. The downfall with drones, um, especially the the prosumer ones, not the full uh, the full pro ones. Excuse me, uh, is they shoot panoramic only, or sorry, um, uh, horizontal only. So they shoot these landscape images only. You don't, you can't kind of rotate uh, the drone camera to shoot portrait. So a lot of times, what I'll do if I'm looking for something that's portrait, um, you know, or vertical orientation, is I'll take more than one shot. So I'll come in here and take a bunch, uh, and again, just slightly rotating the camera down for each one. Um, and then when I stitch them together, I'll have a portrait image. Number That's the first off. Second thing is I have a wider uh, field of view as well. So I'm overcoming the limitations of what is more than likely a 24 millimeter um, lens equivalent on those uh, those drones. And the other th the other um, thing I'm doing is adding more resolution. So this was, again, you know, whatever resolution this was, now I have two or three of those. So I'm kind of doubling my resolution of my image by, do by doing this um, again. So it, it overcomes a couple different um, different things there. So one of the, ma again, main thing here is select those images. I've already done my camera raw. You can go and watch that video. I'm gonna try to insert that uh, again up over here, wherever that'll pop up. We'll play around with that within YouTube this for this video. So you can go back and watch the camera raw, but I've already opened these and edited them in camera raw. And th the other beautiful thing about Bridge is you can see the images that I've edited by this little icon that shows up. It means that I've already brought them into Camera Raw and I've already done my edits to them. Uh, and Bridge is free as soon as as long as you have a subscription to Photoshop, um, you get Bridge automatically for free. So it's a just basically a file organization program. And um, I think I'll make another one, um, another video, just kind of outlining you know my layout and the two different layouts that I use all the time, um, and just kind of my overall setup within Bridge. Um, kind of moving forward. Uh, but to move on with the panoramic, so there's my four images there. I can go to Tools, Photoshop, and then go to Photo Merge. Um, so that's that's the path to take it. Um, again, there's lots of different tools within Bridge that we can use. Some of the major ones that I use are uh, really, I guess they're really, the, really the two strong ones that I use are Photo Merge, I use it all the time, and Load Files into Photoshop Layers. So this will take all of those files and merge them into uh, one Photoshop file. And each one of those images will be in a different layer within that Photoshop file. So I use that all the time. But photo merge here, so I'll just click on that. And then I'm gonna get a screen that prop that pops up. It's gonna ask me what I wanna do here. So I more than likely, what I usually do is just reposition. Because uh, sometimes what happens when I'm gonna go into auto is that it really distorts the images too much. Uh, maybe we'll do both. So I'll leave it on auto here. We'll see how it goes and then maybe we'll go back to reposition. But if you find that auto doesn't work and it really distorts your image, reposition is great because all it does is it rotates it and um, repositions the image. Auto will actually scale and add a perspective distort uh, to the image. Now you can see perspective and cylindrical um, and spherical kind of distorting um, and how that happens. So auto, um, and then I'll just hit OK. Uh, I can I can remove or add images. I can open up more ones. But what I wanted to do here is I wanted to blend the images together. Uh, so it's going to try to blend them as best it can. It's going to line them up. I could click on vignette removal, but I don't think there's, <clears throat> excuse me. Actually, there's a little bit of vignette. So maybe I'll try that to see how it goes. Uh, I don't I don't need it to correct any of that distortion um, or again to fill in any areas here I can usually do that later with Photoshop as I see fit I'm not gonna let the algorithm do that for me so I hit OK and let it process so it's gonna take those images it's gonna load them into uh, bridge or sorry into Photoshop 
I've already done my camera raw on them, so I've done my basic overall adjustments. They're a little bit dark, they are a little bit too dark um, on my, my screen up. Uh, so again, I, I love shooting these multiple panoramics. It's, it's almost every image that you see of mine has these multiple stitched images together. Uh, very rarely do I just shoot a single image. I'm not saying that I don't, but rarely, um, even if I'm shooting handheld, I'll, I'll do a quick click, click, click type type deal. Um, and again, just to kind of to kind of get that, you know, different presence, different field of view, different, um, you know, it all, it's almost like I'm shooting with a super wide angle lens, uh, and almost like it has a bigger sensor on it as well because I'm, I'm basically moving the sensor a little bit as well when I'm shooting. So it's almost like I'm overcoming or shooting with some, uh, a sensor that's larger than the, um, uh, the full frame sensor that's in my camera, or in this case, in these ones, um, the other sensors. So what it did here is it rotated it. Um, so it, it, you'll see that you see the distortion that it added, uh, but I think it did a pretty good job at, at alignment. There's a part in the road that I'm already noticing. There's a little dip in the road that I might need to come and try to fix. Um, and I think the rest of it looks okay. I'm looking at lines. I'm looking at um, short, the shoreline, the road. Uh, you haven't, oh, actually did a really good job of blending that area. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna have to do it. Um, the distortion wasn't too bad here either. Um, the distortion that happened around it wasn't too bad. Sorry, I think there's a campfire. Yeah, a little campfire there. I wonder if there's a I think that's a backcountry campsite there. That's cool. I didn't know it was there. It looks relatively close to the to the highway too, somewhere to park and then maybe bushwhack into that backcountry site. Anyway, um, this is Lake Superior Provincial Park here. Um, so again, I'm going to kind of fix this here. Your other option here, let's just see how this works. So there's this option. I'm just going to go in and leave this open. I'm going to go back to bridge and I'm going to run it again here. Uh, should be a little bit quicker. Photo merge. Um, and then I'm going to reposition only here, leave blending. You'll see it doesn't it doesn't let you do the vignette removal or geometric, um, geometric distortion correction because again, these ones here aren't aren't added there. I don't again, I don't need to worry about those filling in those extra areas. If I do, I usually use my clone tool or my patch tool or content aware fill um, you know myself after. So we'll let this run through. So again, what I'm looking for in those, um, these edits is anywhere that it doesn't look like it lines up properly. That's my first thing to make sure um, I can use the image. If there's places that don't line up, then I need to scrap it and give it a try a different way. Or I need to scrap it and manually blend them. I'll have a separate video or a lot of my other videos are manual blends where I line it up and, and play with the puppet warp and the different warp tools mm -hmm. just to line the images up. So here it's it's lined them, or sorry, it's... it's um, Got them all in Photoshop layers. Now it's generating. Now it's going to start blending them. You can see those lines of where the images overlap, and then it's going to do um, a quick blend. You'll also see the image here is noisy, so I will, and maybe I'll do a separate video. Just topaz. I use the topaz noise reduction all the time uh, when I edit this stuff um, for my noise reduction. Sorry. I'm just waiting here. So yeah, I think that's going to be the one to go with. So I'm just going to rotate this around so I can see. So counterclockwise to rotate it back that way. Command zero to see the whole thing. So I'll have to crop out some of the top there with that distortion. You'll see how it it, it did. It does look look okay without the distortion happening. So I think I'm going to go with that one instead of this one. If I go with this one, I'll have to crop and do some cloning on my edges. Here, I would have to crop all of this out. So I'm just going to go with the reposition only. And that's usually the one I go with. Um, what I'll do is, is usually try the reposition first. And then once that reposition's done, then I, um, then I move into, uh, sorry, I lose my train of thought sometimes when I'm, when I'm thinking about, again, what I'm doing within the image. Uh, yeah, so I use reposition first. If it doesn't work, then sometimes I'll try the auto. But I did find over time after using these, reposition does a pretty good job, and it does a, it keeps everything nice and straight. So there's very minimal 
cropping or cloning that I'm going to have to do to the edges of this image. And then that's it. So I can, from this point here, um, I can zoom in and check my edges, or I can turn the visibility on and off and just double check. So here you can see where it's cut out one image and overlapped another one. So here, for instance, I, that edge looks pretty good all the way around. I don't need to worry. There might be some doubling happening in here that I can fix up with the clone tool later. This one here is so minimal, I probably don't even need it. It does do that sometimes. You see this one here is super minimal as well. So basically what it did is it just, it just, if I take these two out, it basically just merged these two together. And, you know, I, I it, it, it could have just left that in there. I'm not too sure why it, it really um, just added tiny little pieces from these ones, but it did what it did. So I think I'm happy with that. And then now to save some space, I'm just gonna merge visible. So I'm gonna merge these all into one layer. So now it's like a photo in a single layer anyway. And then I'll go through and run my regular um, my regular adjustments. Uh, one thing I will do kind of here quick, if you do notice anything like this, where you do have this kind of uh, doubling happening here, actually I don't know if it is doubling, but it kind of looked like it from when I zoomed out. So I might remove one or two of these, yeah. I think the rest of it looks fine. I don't think there's an issue. So there's lots of noise here. Stay tuned. Um, you can go back and watch another video of, again, just um, some noise reduction. I'll create uh, another one of those this week for noise reduction and maybe some more basic edits. But I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to post it on Instagram. If you uh, if you don't follow me yet, uh, head over to uh, Jeff Visual Art um, on Instagram and that's my stuff. Um, and you can view it all there. Okay, so more to come like, subscribe, hit the notifications so uh, you can see all of my new videos as they come up. Ciao.